Hello everyone. My name is Manong Tagachiro. And I am going to teach you on how to proper use of Bantus or punctuation mark, semicolon. First I will teach you to use semicolon in English grammar. Second I will teach you to use semicolon in Filipino grammar. Third I will teach you to use semicolon in mathematics equation or problem. And fourth I will teach you to use semicolon in JavaScript programming. First we will talk about the rules of using semicolon in English grammar. It can use to join two sentences, and create a pause effect in the middle. For an example, Dogs are man's best friend, semicolon, sometimes they bite. Or we can still write them in two separate sentences just like this. Dogs are man's best friend. Sometimes they bite. The differences are it separates the sentences, create a pause effect, and has negative reaction at the end. It can use to write a lists or procedures in a numerically arrange. In this example, we can use semicolon in writing this sentence. Example, how to cook a fried chicken. Clean and slice the chicken meat, marinate the chicken meat, fry the chicken into a boiling oil. But for a more formal format we can write it like this. How to cook a fried chicken. 1. Clean and slice the chicken meat. 2. Marinate the chicken meat. 3. Fry the chicken into a boiling oil. Now we will talk about using semicolon in Filipino grammar. Using semicolon in Filipino is the same rules as in English grammar. So, if you understand the rules of using semicolon in English grammar, then you can use it the same rules in the Filipino grammar. For an example, from using it to join two sentences, create a pause effect in the middle, and having a negative reaction at the end. Just like the example below, two separate sentences, and join them together with semicolon, and write a list or procedures in a numerically arranged, just like the example below. How to use semicolon in mathematics equation or problem. Semicolon only separates variables from parameters. For an example, if I write f, which means function, x1, comma and x2 are the variables, semicolon, p1, comma and p2 are the parameters. So, the general syntax is function name, variables, semicolon, and parameters. You can only encounter this format if you were programming JavaScript and other programming languages. So, if you are, then you have to take serious on understanding its uses and rules in programming. And last, how to use semicolon in JavaScript programming. JavaScript recognized semicolon like a null, its only use is to determine the end of function. It means either you write code with semicolon or without. The code will still run. But, remember semicolon only put at the very end of every function. If you put it somewhere inside the body of declaration or somewhere in the code, then your code might not work. For an example if I write a JavaScript code. Variable name sum is equal to the sum of 4 and 5, and we put semicolon at the end. We can check in the console log if our code is working with semicolon. Then if I write without a semicolon.